Hey everybody, it's Ryan again with another project, and this one involves going to the mailbox. I just saw the mailman deliver some goodies, and uh, as it turns out, well, it's from the Wizards at Stickered. So uh, I'm going to get down to a project right now, doing a refresh of my uh, 2016 Evil Reckoning. And uh, what we're basically doing, I had a nice little build from Fanatic Bike. Um, they did they did a gold tone treatment on the, the fork, shock, and, and bike. And I'm basically coming through and doing a refresh of that with some digital camo I worked on with uh, Richard Bai over at Stickered. This is a father-son project. Uh, I've been looking uh, forward to doing this for a little while. So my son's running the video. And um, in a moment, I'm going to turn it over to him for, um, for, the, for the voiceovers. It's been a fun project, and I definitely recommend the guys at uh, Stickered if you're interested in a nice little bit of, um, you know, sort of custom work for your, uh, for your bike. Anyway, enjoy the video. Hi everyone, it's Preston, Ryan Schalkeck's son. First, we're starting out with tape on the edges of the main evil sticker. We did this so we were able to mark off the corners so when we put down the digital camo sticker it would stay in place and be identical to the one we are about to take off. Here we started taking off the golden evil sticker. We used this small blade to help us peel away. It took a little while in the beginning, but once you got a bigger piece of the sticker, it started to come off more quickly. We were just about halfway through and finishing the bottom now. We used some rubbing alcohol to get all the extra residue from the sticker and any extra dirt residue. off the bike. Those are the digital camera stickers. Here he's pointing out to you the level line and the line that curves in a little bit. So we taped now. off the evil sticker because we wanted to make sure that the L's in the center looked perfect when we put it on the bike. The L's are not connected, so therefore they will be different if we pull off the EVI together and then put on the L's separately and then put down the final EVI. It did work, luckily, and we pulled it off and then got ready to place it onto the bike. Through the tape, you can see the edges of the E sticker, so we were able to place the evil sticker between the pieces of tape we had already put down on the bike earlier. We sealed the tape, make sure the sticker had stuck, rubbed it in one more time, and then started to peel away the long piece of tape. There you see how cool the digital camo looks when it's first on the bike. And I was very excited on how this came out. Again, because of the tape we had done previously, the angles looked perfect and clean. We finished this logo by peeling off the corners of tape and making sure everything was nicely sealed. We used a rubbing alcohol to clean off the pedal, now applying another digital camo sticker that looked very cool on this bike. We pressed down the edges, making sure to get it to form to all the curves that are on this pedal. Once it was pressed on, we thought it looked great, so we were ready to move on. Now we're on to the other side, again, slowly peeling away 
at the Golden Evil sticker. This one came off more quickly and it looked awesome once it was off. It looked better once we put on the next digital camo sticker. Again, we used the painter's tape to put the evil sticker onto the bike, sealed it, made sure all the gaps are closed, and then removed the tape. Everything so far has worked perfectly, and I'm very excited on the rest of the build. We moved on to the next pedal, same sticker as the other one, sealing it off and making it look complete. We moved on to the head tube. We pulled off the golden sticker, removed the lettering below it, and soon enough, it was off the bike. We then applied the logo for the evil head tube. This one took a little longer than the other stickers, but turned out great too. We moved on to the back of the seat tube. Here we used another great sticker of digital camo from the wizards that stickered. Using painter's tape again above the sticker to get the perfect level alignment. We then peeled the paper off from behind the sticker and there you go. Now we put on my favorite sticker of the whole project. It says The Reckoning in digital camo. We decided to put this one right next to the head tube and wanted to make sure that all the curves were fit by the sticker. It looked great once it was finally pressed on and we were both very excited about the finishing look of it. We were almost complete with this project of the Evil Reckoning. Now we moved on to the fork. Here we used Fox 36 stickers in digital camo and the normal Fox logo also in digital camo. These stickers took longer because they were bigger and I think a lot stickier than the other ones we were pulling off and applying. Again, taking a little while to peel away at them. Once you got a little bit, you got most of the rest of the sticker. Painter's tape made a huge difference because it helped us get every angle exact so it looked like a professional had done this project. We slowly but surely rubbed on the Fox 36 sticker and it matched the orange perfectly. We moved down to the normal Fox logo below the Fox 36 sticker on the right of the suspension. made sure painter's tape was exact and then peeled off the sticker. Again, thanks to Stickered, their stickers were able to fit perfectly onto this bike and the final product, which you'll see at the end of the video, looks great.
After a lot of peeling, we finally got this sticker to come off. And we readied the surface to make it available for the next sticker. Placing this sticker took a few tries, but after we got the corner in place, it all went on. Making sure to keep it smooth with all the curves of the fork that we were applying it to, we slowly put this sticker on to the bottom of the fork. Once this sticker was complete, we got ready for the next side. Here's a little comparison of both the digital camo side and the normal factory fork side. We used some elastic tape to help us really get around the edges of this. We used rubbing alcohol to prep the surface, remove the sticker, and use rubbing alcohol again so we were ready to apply the digital camo sticker. Here you see a sticker identical to the other side of the fork. We had to peel up the tape a little bit on the top to make sure that six didn't go over this painter's tape. We sealed this sticker, making sure it fit perfectly onto the fork. You may have seen some pros sponsored by Fox using these orange forks. Due to their popularity, Fox decided to make a limited run of these forks open to the public. It was a shame that we had to remove these stickers, but it was part of the sticker kit for this bike, so we did it so it would match with the rest of the bike. We moved on to the lower part of the fork, same sticker as the other side of the bike again. After a little while of peeling, we got the main part of the sticker to come off, which then made the rest of the process easier. After the sticker finally came off, we used some rubbing alcohol and was able to prep the surface for the next sticker. We were almost finished with this project, just finishing with this sticker, and then we would add another reckoning sticker to the other side of the head tube, and also add evil slogan, which is bleed black, die evil, and we would place that sticker on the swing arm on both sides of the bike. We added a few more detail stickers, like this small one, right on the top edge of the fork. And here you see pictures of the stickers on the wheels, swing arm, pedals, main frame, fork, and head tube. This project was really fun because I got to work with my dad on placing all these stickers and making this bike unique for Halloween and truly one of a kind. It was very cool to see the transformation of this bike over the time that we had. So nice job, Preston. So this is the final walkthrough. You can check my bike check on uh, my channel. I'll link it in the description below. But here's the final product, and this is the first day out with the uh, the fresh livery. So there's the fork, all done up, all nice with the digi camo, and uh, looking good. And again, that's a Fox 3629 RC2, running 170 millimeters on the front. There's that sick 
reckoning badge that I've got on either side of the head tube. No mistaking this bike for any other in the evil line, unless you can't read. Um, and uh, I have to admit the Digicam is a little obnoxious, but there you go. Um, Maxxis rubber, front and rear, and uh, you got the Fox Float X2. You got your bleed black die evil on both sides of the swing arm. This one on the um, on the seat stay, as it were, running the there's the uh, 6C overlays for crank rub, and uh, in general, man, looking mighty fine. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the description below on what you thought of this video. Also, check out my channel, at Pure Epic, link also in the description below. Have a great day. Cheers.